All right, we're back with part nine. Still not sure if this is going to be the finale or not. Not exactly sure how much there is to do. There's only 10% left of the game, according to my save percentage. But we're back in the clock tower courtyard. Um, we're, just, we're right over by Dean, who's in the clock tower. So we're just going to start there. Hi. I'm right. trying to turn my camera. <laughs> I've been thinking, if we mess up the clock in the clock tower, Umbridge won't be able to run her lessons on time. But how do we mess it up? It's massive. Simple. We move a few of the cogs around, and the clock will go berserk. Come on, Harry. It's genius. Okay, let's do it. I can't really help. Not with being a prefect. But if I was to stand in the courtyard and keep a lookout, I wouldn't actually be doing anything wrong, would I? Let me know when you've finished. Ron, you're a prefect too! We need to get the clock running backwards first. We need to move all the cogs over there. Whatever eases your conscious Hermione. But is this the only clock they have? Right, which one's Wingardium Leviosa! Wait, where am I moving these? Alright, we're just doing the other side. Cool. No. Thought I targeted the other one. <laughs> Hopefully that was right. in that bit over there. Jeez, we really sent this thing haywire. <laughs> That'll make Umbridge think for a minute. She might even have second thoughts about getting her hands on Hogwarts. Come on, mate. How does this thing not overload and just completely break? <laughs> it's moving way too fast. Alright, so that's Dean's mission. Now we just have the Patil twins. I think they're both in the same location. Oh wait, I think it's actually telling me to go this way. Okay. 
Alright, here they are. They're actually not that far hey, from where we you? were. My footprints were just leading me in a circle at first. We need your help. We... <clears throat> Students are reminded that passing notes in class is prohibited. These announcements are really annoying. We think we know how we can sabotage them, but we need your help. Okay. Can you help us move that? Then you can climb up and pour babbling beverage into the loudspeaker. Even the minister says he's mad. Good idea, isn't it? Great. Let's do it. Here's the potion. We'll keep an eye out, Harry. We'll keep an eye out for interruptions. Attention, children! Hogwarts students must not run, cast magic, play tricks, or smack in the corridor. Mr. Filch will be happy to instruct any oh, student requiring place. a full list of school rules. Wait, what? How do I mess with it? Do you think he could look any more stupid? I don't. Thanks for helping us, Harry. Can't place the bench anywhere else. He just pre-places it here. Why did it? Oh, I'm supposed to like double stack it. I thought it just pointed at the knight statue at first. I didn't even see the other bench. Quick, pour the potion on it. <clears throat> this is the High Inquisitor. I eat frogs. It worked. Go and make some more babbling beverage so we can sabotage the other speakers. Come and look for us by one of the other speakers later. See ya, Harry. All right. I did see a few of those around the school. So, looks like we have a set number of those we gotta do. I wonder if it keeps tracking them. Yeah, it does. Alright, so I'll just keep heading towards them. Isn't there one of those speaker things here? Alright, we're at the next one. Are so immature. Can you help us again, Harry? We've made some more bubbling beverage. Here's the potion. We'll keep an eye out, Harry. Ron, you keep a lookout over here. I'll go over there. Great! Okay, Harry. Hi. <laughs> Quick! Children, remember! by the next speaker. Don't take too long. Someone's bound to notice the speakers are breaking. We've still got four speakers left to find. Alright. On to the next location. Go and play with the mud blood. How are you? Alright, we're here. Can you help us again, Harry? We've made some more bubbling beverage. Wingardium Leviosa! I need another bench. Oh, there it is. Deposo! Move. Here's the potion. We'll keep an eye out, Harry. Ron, you keep a lookout over there. I'll go over there. Thanks for helping us, Harry. <coughs> Dung bombs are strictly prohibited. Mr. Filch has a terrible smell. Umbridge is finally making sense.
All right, that's the third speaker. Looks like there's still some more. All right, we're approaching Isn't it. Isn't there a speaker near here? Can you help us again, Harry? We've made some more bubbling beverage. Here's the potion. We'll keep an eye out, Harry. Don't pull that face, Ron. Someone's got to keep a lookout. Wingardium Leviosa! Great! Thanks for helping us, Harry. Anyone given a detention will be given extra butter beer for free. Great! We'll meet you by the next speaker. Don't take too long. Someone's bound to notice the speakers are breaking. Well, no one's noticed yet, and we've broken four of them now. Time to the fifth. Alright, I think we're getting over there. There's a speaker over there. Can you help us again, Harry? We've made some more bubbling beverage. Here's the potion. We'll keep an eye out, Harry. We'll keep an eye out for interruptions. No, not the pictures. Harry, stop! Are you well? Wingardium Leviosa! Great! Thanks for helping us, Harry. <sighs> Quick! Students are reminded that damaging school speakers is not an offense. They must have noticed the other ones we've sabotaged. We'd better disable the last one quickly then. It looks like we still got one more of these things. I just like how damaging them makes her just say completely different things. Like instead of messing her words up, she's literally just saying different words instead. Which doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's head to that last one. Bye. Pretty sure it's in the entrance courtyard right here. Yeah. Thanks for helping us, Harry. Isn't there one of those speaker things here? Can you help us again, Harry? We've made some more bubbling beverage. Here's the potion. We'll keep an eye out, Harry. Don't pull that face, Ron. Someone's got to keep... Heard that numerous times. Wingardium Leviosa! Great! What do you want, Malfoy? Professor Snape wants to see you in his office. He says it's time for your remedial potions lesson. <laughs> right. That's the thing with you, Potter. You think you're so clever, but you can't even work out which end of the cauldron to light the fire under. <laughs> right, thanks, Malfoy. So now we gotta go see Snape. Don't actually have a task for it, but it's just gonna be in the dungeons. All right, we're in the dungeons. Can you imagine being stuck in an old vat like the one? Potter stinks. Whatever. You're late again, Potter. Have you been practicing? Yes. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Wand out, Potter. We got another one of these.
Can we Enough. Go? Your lessons are at an end. I get out. Friend George want to see you. They're on the fifth floor. Are you all right, Harry? Yeah. Let's find Fred and George. Well, they kind of skipped over to why Snape got angry at him, but all right. Because he normally gets angry because he sees memories of Snape instead. Well, let's just head over to Fred and George now. All right, we're up there. Not sure exactly where they're gonna be. Oh, you're there. Hey, Fred, George, is anything the matter? We've had a tip up. Umbridge found out it's us who provided the little presents that have been left for her. What are you gonna do? I've always felt our futures lie outside the world of academic achievement. I've been thinking the same thing myself. Everything is set. The swamp is in place. Just keep your eyes open and your heads down and get to the entrance hall. You'll have the best view from there. Let's start the show with this swamp box. I think a little incendio or reducto will do it. Oh, we're actually playing as them. <laughs> Interesting. There's like no sound effect for this one. <laughs> Yay! I'll have you whipped for this. I do believe this is where we leave, Fred. <laughs> Accio Brew! Oh, Jesus. Oh, I didn't even... It's worth it. Umbridge's face will be priceless. Oh, I hope she tries vanishing them. Do you think she'll be upset when that makes the books die like head? So awkward targeting these boxes. Getting done. I did not expect this at all. Did I just get hit with my own firework? I think Reducta would actually be easier. Oh man. I think I keep getting hit out of it by all the things flying around. Oh no, we actually got that one. There we go. There another one? No. Gotcha! And we'll go out with a bang. Serious. I saw it. But what had Voldemort meant for you to see? To get to you? What if he did? I'm supposed to just let Sirius die. The chimney in Umbridge's office. We can use the flu network to get to Sirius. Come on.
You were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? Very well. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. No, it's illegal. Even Minister Fudge. Tell her, Harry. It's not worth another student dying. What isn't? I knew Dumbledore was planning something. A weapon, then, is it? <laughs> Take me to it. Well, where is this weapon? There isn't one, is there? You know, I really hate children. But if it falls to me to tie up the loose ends, I will do what must be done. You, you have no business here. This is a ministry matter. Filthy half breed! Stop it! Stop! No ah! Unband me, you animal! Unband me, you beast! I am senior undersecretary to Lord of Jane Umbridge! Let me go! We have to get to Sirius. Come on! Thank you, Grop! But Harry, how exactly are you planning to get all the way to London? Let's just get back to the castle. And we're really flying through it now. Finally dealt with Umbridge. Now we gotta go and rescue Sirius. Well, attempt to rescue him at least. Looks like we're in another duel. No. Could have gotten him. Man, they're countering my spells instantly. Every time I cast Protego, I just instantly go down. We go. That's it, Malfoy. Run. I have to get to London. Sirius is in trouble. How are we going to get to London? We. Look, it's not that I don't appreciate. You don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. Dumbledore's army was about doing something real. Or was that just words? We don't know how to get to London anyway. We fly, of course. This is the place I saw in my dreams. The place Voldemort has been trying to get into. Where they're keeping the weapon, the Death Eaters one. The door is at the end. Harry! We have to find Sirius.
row 97. He should be here. Harry, what if he never was here? What if Voldemort tricked you into thinking you saw Sirius? This has your name on it, Harry. The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches, and the Dark Lord will mark him as his equal, but he will have power the Dark Lord knows not, and either must die at the hand of the other, for neither can live while the other survives. <laughs> Here's the, some of the Death Eaters. What are those things? Death Eaters! Just run! Get inside! Prophecy, Potter! You really expect to stand a chance against us? Give it to me! Get away from my godson! Serious? You've done beautifully, but we'll take it from here. You proved you can take on children, Malfoy! Get up fight like a man! No! No! You have chosen the wrong path! Oh, shit. Oh, we're actually playing it serious. I don't think our spells are the same with him. I think their Protego lasts like way longer than ours. Holy Jesus. Am I getting hit by the other guys? In the other areas? No, it's just our uh, Protego isn't actually doing anything. Oh god. I'm not really sure how we're supposed to beat them, because when they cast Protego... Oh, we're actually supposed to lose. Of you to come here, Tom. The auras are on their way. By which time I shall be gone, and you dead. Dumbledore! Your time is past. Oh, shit, we're Dumbledore now.
Oh, he's like absorbing our spell. I was wondering if we just use Protego to just counter everything. destroying a man and fates worse than death I will kill you now old man then again if your own death means nothing to you Voldemort Harry stay where you are perhaps oh, so we gotta push him out of her mind He's more resistant than Snape. Man, we really have to push him out. There we go. He <laughs> just stands there. We never know friendship, or loyalty, or love, or real happiness. And I feel sorry for you. I saw him! It was Voldemort! He's back! The 
prophecy said, neither can live while the other one survives. It means one of us has got to kill the other in the end. Yes. I'm sorry about Sirius. The papers are reporting Voldemort's return. Even the prophets had to admit he's back. Are you all right, Harry? I've been thinking. Even though we've got a fight ahead, we've also got one thing Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Alright, that pretty much concludes the main story, but we're not fully done yet. We've got some miscellaneous stuff we still gotta do. We can clear out Umbridge's office now, and then we also have to talk to Luna about something. I've got some things to show you in our secret room. You don't have to bring the others if you don't want to. <laughs> so we're gonna squeeze these last few things in here so that this probably will be the finale. Let's go talk to Luna right away. I think she actually is pretty close by. Yeah, there she is. Hi, Luna. What are you doing here? Well, I've lost most of my possessions. People take them and hide them, you know. How come people hide your stuff? I think they think I'm a bit odd, you know. Some people call me Looney Lovegood, actually. Well, that's no reason for them to take your things. If I find any of your things, I'll let you know. All right, so we triggered that. So I'm gonna have to figure out what those are, and then we also have to head up to Umbridge's office. I don't know if any of her things are up there, so we might actually have to go up there anyways. Well, let's get this started. Get lost. All right, so Luna's belongings don't seem to be in Umbridge's office, so we're just gonna do that first, just to get it out of the way. So I'm just gonna head up there, and then we're gonna come back down. Right, we're basically up there now. Just gotta go through the defense classroom. Alright. I don't think we did anything in here because we couldn't access it. Wingardium Leviosa! You also have to hit these with the pulso, I'm pretty sure. The pulso! Kittens! That's all the plates. We burn four parchments. Do you have to move these boxes? I know we have to do something with this. Oh, there we go. People used to complain when Moody showed us practical magic. Right, we got something else in here. What am I missing? Oh, there's another Wait, parchment like right Leviosa. under our feet. <laughs> there we go. I'm su surprised Myrtle doesn't have anything to say to us. Oh, there, there she is. There are lots of new things to see in our secret room, Harry. <laughs> Alright, 
So I'm just going to run a quick check here, see if we got all of our discoveries done. I'm pretty sure we do, because I'm pretty sure discovery level 13 is the highest. I wasn't paying attention for some of them. I was looking at the names of the location. Yeah, that's everything. We got all of our discoveries done. All right, we're gonna head it. We're gonna head back to the entrance hall now, where Luna was, because one of our items is actually right by her. All right, we're getting down there. One of our items is right inside of the great hall right here. Right on this table. Then we got another one right in the entrance courtyard. Bye. We actually have to use a broom to get it. Hey, Wingardium Leviosa! These leaves right back here. Alright, here we go. This is Luna's. Alright, now we're gonna go to the library next. Alright, we're getting near the library. Have an excellent day today. I think this is Luna's. Alright, now we gotta head to the viaduct entrance. Alright, we're in it. I went through the portrait, but it's just in the corner, literally right next to the portrait. This must be Luna's. All right, now we gotta go to the clock tower courtyard for the last one. I probably would have been way faster just going down. And we gotta head there next. I don't know if it's faster to go through the portrait or not. Yeah, I guess so. Volo Futurus Unus. Oh, well remembered. All right, we're over there. Should just be right here. This must be loose. All right, there's that. There are lots of new things to see in our secret room. All right, so now we got to go back and talk to Luna. All right, we're almost there. Everything back now. Have a nice holiday, Harry. Yeah, yeah, y you too. All right, there we go. 100% completion. I think the only thing we have left to do now is go to the room of requirement and get our finale going. I don't know if there's like a special cutscene or anything like that. I haven't been to the room in such a long time, I don't even know where to go anymore. I know it's one of the portraits in here. Not room of requirement, room of rewards. Well, Alright, we're over here. I'm glad this room is our secret, Harry. It means none of those maybes can come in here. But you're going to come and visit me, aren't you? Every time you discover things, my file gets heavier. You don't know how lucky you are that portraits can't jinx.
All right, there's her 100% ending. It's basically just a montage of everything you do in the game, exploration-wise. So, this is the finale. I'm um, just gonna take a stroll through our room of rewards here, showing everything we've unlocked. But yeah, that that's the conclusion of this game. I I thought it was pretty fun. Movie licensed games can go either way. Uh, the I thought it was kind of unique how they do spell casting with the analog stick. Unfortunately, the downside is that we don't have that great of camera control, and the combat can feel a little stiff because moving around is very slow, but overall, I think it was a decent approach to it. I think it stays that way in Half-Blood Prince, which is the next game we're going to be playing. But yeah, I enjoyed it, and we're, we're nearing 50 subscribers now. Uh, I've only been doing this for like a little over a month, so... Thanks for the support so far. I didn't think I'd have this many at this point. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next game.